Doom Battle conceded. Huh. After Charlie Clips. Then uh who who on the radar next? Uh, who who would be a I good matchup gotta, for I, you? I probably gotta end this little nigga uh, O Red, little winner little winner streak. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of motherfuckers be saying that he he didn't he nice right now and all uh, shit. I just I just wanna go against the niggas that everybody think nice right now and just uh test their um, skills. That's all it is. That's all it's about. It's test of skills anyway. Oh, oh Red gave you your, your props yesterday when I oh, talked yeah, to him. Oh yeah, that's what's up. Oh Red, that, yeah, yep. Uh, that's the nigga that uh that told uh T Rex, I would smack your ass, but you used to that. Pause, nigga. Oh, but that's all I want to say though. But, oh, he gonna pause. You know, right? Pause to O-Red, but shout out to O-Red. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I want to kill him. DNA gonna die sometime. I don't know. It depends on how Chilla kill him. You know, if, if Chilla kill him bad, I don't want to battle DNA no more. Um, but yeah, not too many motherfuckers. O-Red and DNA are on the radar right now. Yo, what up, man? I'm Boxer. You checking in back with another Untold Truth. This one is with O Red, the Transformer. Um, we pretty much discuss everything, man, from his Fight Club battles all the way up through Summer Madness 3 to his battle with Big T. It was a good discussion, man. I think y'all will enjoy this one. And this uh, Untold Truth is basically O Red explaining everything it took for him to get the respect he's getting now and i think a lot of fans see him as a top tier opponent so yeah man o red the untold truth follow me on twitter backslash unbiased review hit me up on facebook follow the movement man o red the untold truth brought to you by unbiased review peace you look like one of them sesame street puppets d no seriously which one are you bart or are you ernie Pussy, you don't concern me. Jokes aside, I'm a Bernie Mac Baker, backbreaker. They'll take you out on the gurney. Turn me on the wrong journey. Trying to be disrespectful to with a cow vesting hoodie. On second thought, there's no reason for me to stretch the rookie. OBG, why in when I could check a pussy? You know what's sickening? After I'm done killing you, the fans gonna pity you. That shit is so pitiful. I'm supposed to let her live cause she ain't a man's babe. Well, Michael Myers see Lori, do we drop that damn blade? Oh, oh, oh. 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 Freddy and Nancy drinks, don't he keep his hand raised? When bitches at Crystal Lake do Jason hit the damn way, they stay out the camp way? No, since all the started, bitches always been a target for killers when they on a rampage. Oh. Oh. My ma brah ma pa like da wa sha ba sha ga ra wa fa when I ta ba 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 na kla ga ya ra ta 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 like wa cha ba la yeah nigga had that motherfucking head shaking you know what time it is translation. <laughs> Yo, Unbiased Review, we live at the deli. Oh, Red just went it's on a... It's a diner, it's not a damn deli. <laughs> oh, yeah, diner. <laughs> it's always the nigga that gotta correct deli. you even when he know what you meant. Hey, just for the just for the record, man, Oh, Red ordered some bacon, so he ain't Muslim. So, Shuni the rapper, you, you was wrong. So, you know what that too, too mad? That'll get you too viewed and leave you with another loose too red? Well, slow it down. Oh. She did it. I I said, you know what this too too lad? Mm -hmm. That'll get you too and you viewed and have you with another loose tooth rat. Ooh. And hop mad. You thought I wasn't gonna get you too? You hang around with all these URL niggas, but that ain't gonna get you views. <laughs> <laughs> you was on our dick all weekend. Now you hopped on Hitman's. That's gonna get you screwed. This nigga been out here all fucking weekend. Them same fucking shoes. <laughs> but you thought we wasn't gonna notice? 325. Nigga, them shits is blow. <laughs> and you've been crying about your money. Them $16 talking about it's his last. Every time we go to eat, this nigga go chill. I ain't hungry, he Muslim. I'm on a fast. <laughs> oh, Red is a pork yeah. eating. <laughs> you know what's crazy? That's why I said that shit so people need to stop stereotyping. 
when we back when I went to the battle in um, Detroit. We went to a um, breakfast spot. Me, Cal, me, Cal, and the two uh, couple of Detroit farmers. I ordered, I ordered a, uh, a omelet with bacon on it. Right? When I ordered the omelet with the bacon, Calico smacked his head like this and ran his hands down his face. I'm like, bro, what's wrong? He's like, I thought you was Muslim. I'm like, you eating bacon. So you just did all that because you knew my first name and shit and you thought that I was just automatically Muslim for my first name. That's a fucking shame. Yeah, man. You know that's what we do. We stay yeah, tight. That's, um, swine, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's your boy Chris. I'm by for you checking in. I'm here with the Transformer himself. O Red. Yes, the foams are on deck. That's he was he was dissing my Air Force One, so you know I had I had to put the foams on deck. What's going on, man? <laughs> I'm chilling, man. Let's just go into your battle rap history real quick. I, I just found out recently that you was even on Fight Club. Yeah. Cortez was bragging. <sighs> He said that he uh, home, he home we do not speak of, man. Don't even call him Cortez, man. <laughs> talking about he three o me. Get the fuck out of it. You ain't three o nothing in your life, Cortez. I don't think you three o the nigga in your lunchroom when you was in high school, bro. To keep it a buck with you. So for him to say he three o me is crazy. I should just. So so what was that Fight Club <sighs> experience like anyway? Uh, that was crazy. Um, due to the fact that. You could, on any given night, you could have one battle or three battles. It was more so of how you did that day and what good matchups they thought would be nice to see right there on the spot. You feel me? So a lot of people feel like, oh, a lot of people say, oh, the old era of battle rap was different. There's a lot of niggas now that was in that old, that experienced that old era of battle rap. I did. Cortez, he, he whom we do not speak of did, Lattice did, Lance did, you feel me, all was crazy and shit, you feel me, shout out to Lattice, definitely doing him, getting that respect he deserved, he earning his spot. So do you but, feel like it's better now that you actually get to prepare for the, the battle that you're facing, or do you like the old <coughs> style better, or is I like it advantage style, either I like way? I like the style better, because back then a lot of people say oh you had to have your shit on the spot back then but let's be real back then you could use the same fucking line those same rhymes over and over and nobody cares because nine times out of ten they have, haven't seen all of your battles or if you use the same shit in certain battles they're not going to post them shits flat out like cortez motherfucker yeah you usually use the same bars i heard one of your rounds about six seven times there <laughs> so it was no way you was three on me, nigga. You wasn't winning that round that you was gonna use that shit. Up. Right. But I mean, I think it's I think it's definitely better this way. It's no none of that recycling shit. Some people do it, but it's looked down upon. None of that rapping about cars and oh my god, that's the shit I used to hate. That inside peanut butter, outside chocolate milk. They, stop with that fucking way of rap, man. That shit pisses me off. I'll show you where the shoddy is. Where the purple color Maserati is. I'm the Bruno Molly King. That's where I'm to get at from the Ducati Twins and the Teriyaki Benz. Porsche truck color cream and pus. And the seats color cream and plum. And my piping color cream and rum. Fuck ice, the whole team is numb. I hate when people do shit like that. In in battles, nonetheless, you feel me? You shouldn't be talking about no car that everybody and their mother know you ain't got. So, I mean, I, like I said, I think today's way more direct <coughs> and takes a lot of it takes a lot out of the battle rappers. You feel me? Personally, I I had a lot of battles. You feel me? I mean, on average, I have like eight battles a year, so that's very hard to do and keep up a certain level of lyrical content. So I like I like today's um, today's way way better. Now, do you actually make music? Cause I don't really I don't really get too much into. I don't see you posting a lot of your music if you do make yeah, it I mean, as I, opposed to I, others. So, are you mostly a battle rapper that fuck with music a little bit, or do or are you into the music heavy? I mean, I do music. The problem is, as I said, like I, I take like eight battles a year. And to avoid from mixing up the lyrics and shit, I try to, if I got a battle, I try to stay away from the music as much as possible until I got some free time. Like now, you feel me? Which is why I'm um, giving everybody my first 
my first motherfucking mixtape um this July because I'm chilling right now. I ain't got no battles lined up. I ain't got shit to do so that way I can focus on my music. Whatever I do, I want to put a hundred percent in. So, okay. yeah. But I do do music. I think all rappers do music. Okay, so how do you actually prepare for a battle? Like you get the phone call, you get the person you battling, and like, what goes into your preparation? Honestly, I don't write a bar for nobody on earth until I get a fucking down payment. <laughs> and <clears throat> I don't want it to seem like oh I'm just I'm just in it for the money, but at the end of the day, that's the only to me that's the only thing that guarantees that the battle's locked in. Either that or a contract. So let let's talk about the payment just for a second. If you got a phone call and someone said you battling such and such person on such and such date, mm -hmm. when y'all get paid, is it like something that happens right away? Like, do they just send y'all half up front or the whole amount? Or uh, it's it's usually. I mean, in contract, it should be thirty three percent. Okay. You know I mean? um, what exactly you get? Uh, I think is at the discretion of whoever is throwing the battle, so. Um, but under no circumstances do I think anybody gets their full amount up front. I mean, if you're getting your full amount up front, then it's like, what the fuck you even gotta show up for? Right. That's a, that's a huge risk for anybody, so. So in your preparation, like, do you study people battles? Do you go off your personal history that you have with them? Like, like what, what's your main preparation outside of getting your deposit? <laughs> uh, I would say the last battle that somebody's done. I think if you don't see the last battle a person has done, you don't, you have no idea what you're facing. Or if it's too much time in between that battle that you have lined up with that person and the last battle. You feel me? I think the main thing about preparation is seeing somebody's growth, whether it be positive growth or negative growth, whether they got better or they've gotten worse over time. I think that's the number one thing that comes with preparing for a battle. You have to know what you're walking into. Alright, now we pretty much seen your growth from all these particular battles and leads that you've been going in. Mm -hmm. I always felt like you were underrated and uh, it seemed like you just not getting the shine that you uh, deserve. What, what do you feel like was something that, what do you feel like is one of the reasons it took so long for people to take notice of you? Uh, first impressions you feel me a lot of a lot of times if I have a subpar battle or fuck up in a battle when people view those battles it's most likely their first time seeing me you feel me so it's like if you can't rock with somebody the first time that you see them it's kind of you have to work real hard to get that you feel me to get that back so I mean I definitely think that was the main thing at the end of the day it was um, it was more so on my part than anybody else, so I can't blame nobody else. The plus about it though is when you get to where you want to be or where you feel like you deserve to be, you can't really, nobody can really tell me anything. Because at the end of the day, I work harder than a lot of battle rappers. Now early on you had a stigma of being someone that choked a lot in battles. No, I didn't. I choked in two battles. No. I know what people, you know, you know how it is. They, so they, I fucked up in two battles they, out of 20, I have what, 26? Six battles now? But you know how people are. They over embellish everything. You know what I'm saying? Like you choke in two battles and you really choked in six. Yeah. That's just how people look yeah. at it. So since you knew how many battles you choked in and you knew that it wasn't really a good representation of who you were mm -hmm. as a battle rapper, how did, did that did that criticism bother you as you was making your way of trying to get respect doing this? Like like No, nah, I mean it, it didn't really bother me at the end of the day. Like I said, it, it was it was my doing. Poison pen, you my nigga. Tell that mug to stop. He don't need floor seats with them thick ass glasses. That nigga can see the battle from the parking lot. <laughs> Ain't no parking lot. <laughs> this shit is <laughs> different shit too like as far as if I'm not prepared for a battle or if I don't give a fuck about a battle or anything of that magnitude which is what bothers me now like how people say oh 
this shit don't count versus old red because he ain't tried. Like, come on, man, stop that shit because two years ago, ain't nobody say none of that shit. Every battle was a try, which is why people started putting their best foot forward for every battle. But if you're giving somebody a crutch to lean on, then that, I mean, they can use that as a safety net for every battle they take after that. So, I mean, as I said, it was expected because at the end of the day, those was my mistakes. I had to learn from them. I had to come back from them. It's easy to fall. Anybody can tell you that. It's easy to fall, but to get back is twice as hard. Okay. Let's talk about a Rosenberg Raw battle. Oh, man. You know, he's definitely been someone that's been missing in action. I think he was supposed to battle Ill Will in Detroit. That didn't really happen. So, But going back to that, I'm not normally a dude that like props in a yeah. battle, but I must admit, that shit you did with Raw was funny as hell and it was very effective. And if your homeboy Tom Bob keep playing sideline with them pom poms, okay. I'm killing your mess. Fully loaded. Lay that bitch where he stand. I throw another clip in the can. Double back, spit at the clan. Pop and knock an air bubble out the Michelin man. Oh. <laughs> Like what gave you the idea for that? That was actually spur of the moment. It was just uh, the bars was just the jokes originally when I wrote it. But then as the day of the battle, <coughs> I started to think like, well, maybe people don't know who this person is that I'm talking, that I'm saying he looks like, well, this person, you feel me? So the pictures just helped me as far as, that's why I threw the whole shit. If y'all never seen this or if y'all never seen that, then I used a picture to let you know who he looks like. And it was fun. Shit was fun. Okay. So you battled Sway Seven. Uh -huh. That was a battle that one of your chokes, as you like to say. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel like without the choke, you would have won that battle? Because your second round was kind of crazy. I, you know, the the Urkel shit was yeah. like, that shit was on point. So I felt like without the choke, you know, that shit could have been a different Honestly, outcome. Honestly, I mean, looking back at the battle. Fred, talk to him. Only act tough because of who he with. Uh -huh. Yep. But I know you buns, and it's documented proof of it. Uh -huh. You too, this shit. Yep. Oh, Red versus Crisis. Uh -huh. He ain't want no problems. Funny how the other nigga that punked you just happened to be from Harlem. Oh, we can't oh. Hold on, tonight. hold on, hold on. Before you go open your mouth to even say your whole verse, he heard you at the coin toss. He made you go first. <laughs> oh! This fake wedge from class that can get glass wrapped, chin under the chin, then back smack to the mat grant. Lay that fag flat, I dash back, let the mat clap. Bling, give him 20 out that machine, no cash back. There's a lot of things with that. Um, Swave came, he definitely came prepared, you feel me? He did his numbers. Me and him had a person who talked about that battle where he said, I mean, he had he when he prepped for the battle, he had about four or five rounds. So it's hard for me to say, "Oh, I would have killed that nigga," because I have I didn't hear his other two rounds that he pre he prepared. But the first round and the second this the set my second round to me was my worst round. So the feedback from it was crazy because I felt like if I would have got my third round out, even with the choke in the first, it was no way he was winning that battle. I thought my third round was my craziest round. Second round was my worst round. My first round was my mediocre round. And um, with the first round thing, I felt like I felt like I had a better first round. Only thing that gave him the first round was the choke. I felt like bar for bar and all that, I had much better material than him. So that's that's what that um, basically ends as just. It was a battle I fucked up in. He definitely did his thing. He did enough to win and to get respect for that battle. I said he came prepared. Swave is a dude who come prepare every battle, though. So it was hats off to him. It was a, a, a learning step.
definitely made me better. You feel me? But that's another thing. Like a lot of people ask me, would I rematch him? And I say no, only because I know now looking back on this, like I know I would have won a battle. So like, I would never battle somebody that I know that I will beat clearly. Let's talk about another battle that bothers me when I debate old red battles with people. <coughs> For some crazy reason, there's like this unanimous decision that you lost to Tay Rock, which bothers me. Like if uh -huh. I if I do a poll in my unbiased review group, uh -huh. it'll probably be at least maybe 65, 35 people. For some reason, people just, I don't know if it's the Blake Griffin line. I, I, many times I watch that battle, me personally, I feel like the battle was close. Uh -huh. I can see why some people go with Tay Rock. I can see why some people go with you. But for some reason, it just seems like a lot of people go with Tay Rock in that battle. And I always felt like it was because you had that stigma with you from the Sway battle. Uh -huh. That sometimes going into another battle, it's just hard to shake it no matter how well you do in a battle. It's just like that yeah. shit just follows you. Even if you do well, it's like you still that dude that choked against Sway or you still that dude that did this. So it's like they don't go into the next battle and give you a chance. What what are your thoughts on that Tay Rock battle? I think me and Tay Rock was a close battle. Think of that, nigga Tay tripping. Niggas tried me before, so if he catch Tay slipping, I'ma catch him outside. Go to the whipping, start banging over top of the cars. Blake Griffin. You bitch man, stop fronting like you hate a pop. I see it in your eyes. You're a motherfucking diva, huh? I, 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 I send my pigs to rock my squad and reach a block with more vans than a skateboard sneaker's butt. <laughs> Damn. Only thing with it is people love Tay Rock. A lot of people love Tay Rock. Like, to me, Tay Rock lost clearly to k -Shine. A lot of people feel like he won that battle. A lot of people feel like he hasn't lost since Charlie Clips. And not only do they say he hasn't lost, they feel like he won clearly. And he feel like he had killed Charlie Clips now. You feel me? So it's like, <laughs> when you add all that shit up, it's, like, it's kind of expected. You feel, you feel me? I mean, people love him. But it's like, when you break down the material, man, it's just to me it was no comparison. You feel me? Like he had he had the Blake Griffin line, which if it was in my line, if it was in my round, I should say it would have been the decent bar. I'm like, oh, oh, Red, just talk about sports. You feel me? So it would have been a decent bar in my round. But I feel like I had a lot of shit in that round better than his. I feel like his first round was super dope. I think the second round was closer. A lot of people like his first round. I like his second round better than his first round. Because his second round, he came out and landed a punch four bars in. His first round, he didn't land a punch until he was 60 seconds into his round. On the URL stage, you get booed in 30 seconds. You don't land a punch. You feel me, so, man? It's a lot of shit that comes with that. Like I said, people love him, though, man. Um, we definitely had a crazy battle. He definitely got off. I think the only round... Personally, I could say he won. It's probably the third, and that's because I pretty much lost my voice going up into the third round. But the first two, second round was closer than the first round to me. That's just my opinion, though. I mean, everybody got an opinion with battle rap, so I mean, it's kind of like I said, it's expected, man. They love him. Let's talk about the Averb battle. That was like Averb's return to URL since the summer man is. Charlie Clips battle. Mm -hmm. Tonight you get the verb that torch niggas. A killer who kills shit. Rock on and drag that corpse with it. Uh -huh. Red is a porch nigga who talks shit from his porch nigga. So I step on his grass and tell him, say it again like a Detroit nigga. Yeah. I was a little surprised that was even a one round battle. I mean, normally URL doesn't really do a lot of one round battles and especially top tier dudes like Verb and yourself. 
to have yeah. a warrant. Like, how how did that even come <coughs> to, coming to be in playing that way? Well, that, the the battle from for Verb and me came into play when I battled Jay Huggins. It was basically a turn, an uh, intern favor. Um, I battled Jay Huggins to battle Verb, basically. So that's how that got set up. Uh, I expect I thought it would be three rounds. Verb said he only wanted to do one round. I said, all right, I asked him, you feel me, me and him had this talk personally, but I mean, we doing the untold truth, you feel me, so I got to keep it 100, me and him had this talk, I I wanted three rounds, he said he wanted to do one round because me and Huggins only battled one round, I said, all right, cool, me and Huggins was a one round unlimited though, you feel me, so he was on some shit like, nah, I'm not about to let you get off on me for you know, unlimited, <laughs> so, <laughs> you feel me, I mean, which is, is basically, you, you kind of, I had to respect him for being honest with this shit. So, I mean, at the end of the day, what it boiled you down to was either a one round, five minute battle on the next URL card or no battle at all and not battle well against for nothing. So, that's why I took the battle. I mean, I knew I, I, knew I wasn't going to really get off like I wanted to in five minutes. I mean, that's hard for anybody to do. I said, Verb said he caught a back his team. Stop fronting, Black. Holla, take the fucking snaps. You ass to send the ass. You ain't never under that. Yeah, you get in the game, but when you take a fucking snap, you hold that pig skin, laces out for the fucking pack. Even in practice, he be sitting in the fucking back. He ain't with the offensive line taking a couple snaps. He ain't running routes with the wide outs and the running backs. You with the long snappers, the place kickers, and punters at. No, fuck that. I ain't done with scrap. After I bomb on this nigga, he's not coming back. Fresh with that Esteban pack. I'm running smack. Fuck that. Dance who don't come with a fucking track. I'm running that. Come on, bro. Come on. Hey, yo, y'all want another round? Let's get it popping. Who want another round? You want another round? You know what I mean? You want another round? You want another round? Y'all want it? You want another round? A wide, a wide, Jerry. But at the same time, it was either that or nothing. You never know how that shot going to turn out unless you take it. So that's why I did that. It was more so that battle was more so set up between me and Verb, though. It was it was just we put it on the URL stage because we didn't want to do an entire battle for one round battle, or I should say an, an entire event, and then only have like one battle that's one round anyway. So that's basically where that came about. Yo, what up, man? What's going on? Chilling, man. Just chilling. Just in an interview with uh with Mr. Transformer, real quick. What? What you? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With old Red. Yeah, in my in my interview on the phone with Rich Dollars, bro. How you doing, old Red? Nah, man. Nice, How y'all just nice, want? Nice to hear from you too. Yeah, a red salty man. I had to pause the interview and take this phone call, but I, I told him I was supposed to link up with you earlier today. So, what's been going on, man? You've been you've been pushing me off. So when we gonna make this happen? Well, look, definitely tomorrow. We gonna get it done tomorrow. All right. I will be calling him tomorrow to break through your shit too. It's too highly of me, please. This is a fucking shame. And then he doing my interview. He doing my interview with your notes over here, bruh. Like, it's your notes out. This shit say Rich yo, Dollars questions. Yo, you know what? That's fucked up. If I was you, I wouldn't even do that to you no more. Thank you. Oh, uh, don't, don't say that. I'm don't out this that. joint, man. <laughs> Jersey. I'm out this bitch. Jersey. Hey, but I'm going to hit you up tomorrow, man. So I appreciate you calling and whatnot. But we'll definitely link up tomorrow. Like, what, what's a good time for you? Pause. <laughs> Like <laughs> you said up some ass, bro. <laughs> that nigga just this nigga trying to play me. This nigga talking about pause uh, on the set of an interview. <laughs> nah, nah. I mean, I'm supposed to be mi linking up with Mickey Fax at 1:30. So, I mean, pretty much, and I think B Magic at three. So, anytime after that. But you know, you want to do it on a block, so we gotta we gotta get it in before 7:30. Uh, 
want to get too dark. You were talking to them before. Yeah, yeah, before I get dark. Yeah, yeah, I remember you Pause, me. man. What the fuck? It's wrong with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, chill. Be in the interview. <laughs> We gotta hey, get man. it in before seven thirty before it get dark. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, you hear this thing now? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey, Rich, I'll meet you tomorrow, man. Pause, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yo, this thing is bugging, yo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey man, I'm biased with you. Anything happens, man. Look, 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 look at this thing. Look at this thing. Uh, unbiased. <laughs> put unbiased pause review. <laughs> Talk about two battle rappers. I just want you to tell me your thoughts on them. First is Conceited. What are your thoughts on Conceited as a battle rapper? Oh man, damn. I thought you was going to say as a person. Because Conceited as a person is cool. You feel me? Cool to be around, funny as hell. He's just an all around comfortable nigga to, to be around as far as battle rap. Uh, but when he step on the stage, man, he just, he corny to me. <laughs> He's just so damn corny. And it's not that he can't rap. It's just, I'm a fan of hearing complex shit or something complicated, something that, that I know it took you a while to think of. And he just he give off that he give off that high school rapper effect to me. The same way Magic was when he first started, like he used to give off that effect to me. Um, but Khan, the difference with Khan is that he's so fucking little that people don't really bother him about that shit. And he has a lot of star power, but the shit he writes just to me it just be corny sometimes. Like sometimes he come up with some super dope shit. But most of the time, he be corny to me. Okay. Now, what about Daylight? He's been making a lot of waves lately. Daylight is a fucking genius, man. I mean, this is me being a hundred with this shit. Daylight is a fucking genius. He's He might single-handedly destroy battle rap. <laughs> but that's his intention. And a lot of people don't see that shit. Why is he acting like that? Because when he did spit bars 100% of the time, nobody knew who he was. Nobody even looked him up until he got a fucking tattoo on his face. And then he started sleeping through niggas' rounds and getting naked on stage wearing Michael Jackson. To all this shit is to prove that people don't really give a fuck about bars no more. That's what he's doing. Is a is a is a exact replica of law abiding citizen. Mm. You feel me? A lot of people don't know that shit. That's why he's doing that shit. Because when he rapped, ain't nobody fuck with him. So now that he's doing everything else, now y'all start to watch that shit. And it's gonna get to a point where someone's gonna watch his battle. Like you fucking around and ask somebody who watched him in dialect battle and ask them who won. They don't even know who won the fucking battle. Not because they wasn't rapping, because they didn't listen to the shit. They didn't watch the battle to hear them rap. They watched the shit to see if he was actually going to get naked. <laughs> and a lot of people probably turned the motherfucking battle off right after that. Like, oh, this nigga really did that. All right. So, I mean, like I said, Daylight is a fucking genius. Well, do I think he what he's doing is right? Nah, it's not. But it's like when a motherfucker is not getting his shot, and shit, and you not cutting him even slack. People tend to go crazy and do shit like that, just to prove, just to make you look like a mockery. It may seem, a lot of people may think he's making himself look stupid. No, he's making a lot of y'all look stupid. That didn't know who the fuck he was when he was just rapping. Now he's doing all this extra shit, and his followers jumping through the roof. You feel me? You're not following him because he's a good rapper. You following him because he do a lot of crazy shit. A lot of people go to daylight battles not because he he can't rap or because he can rap. They going because I want to see what this nigga do. I want to see what he about to do next. Let me ask you about one more battle rapper. Goods. <laughs> now, a while ago, <coughs> I really wasn't a Goods fan. 
you know, I respect pretty much everyone, but for the most part, I really wasn't that much of a Goods fan. But I will admit that he always is in every battle. Like, Goods never gets killed. So I, that's one thing I always tell people that I commend him for that. Like, he always finds a way to win a round. He always finds a way to win a battle, you know, whatever the case may be. So, like, what, what's your thoughts on him? Goods is dope. He's just lazy. I mean, it's a, a lot of, it, it gets to a point with Goods where he used to say a lot of shit that was just hot, whether you whether you heard him say the shit or you looked at it on paper. But it, he's starting to get to a point where he he knows his, like Goods' performance game is crazy. His delivery crazy. And he know this shit. So now it's like he writing shit and be like, it may be a regular bar or it'd be okay, but you oh, but I'm gonna make it sound dope. You know I mean? So that's that's what it it starts to look like as far as from a talent level from Guns. Can he rap? Hell yeah. Can he hang with the top tier battle rappers? Hell yeah. He proved that already. Like you said, Guns is a nigga who's always in every battle. He's arguably won every battle that he ever had. You know I mean? That shit is not because he got luck, his luck so fucking amazing for five, four or five years that people just stooped down to his level of rap. No, it's, he got a knack for keeping up with his competition. You know I, mean? I mean, goods, goods get a lot of hate thrown his way. You know I mean, it's just... And which is kind of unfortunate, you feel me? Because, like I said, he's dope. And he's a cool ass dude. You feel know me? So, that's pretty much all I got to say about Goods, man. He keep doing what the fuck he doing, though, man. He's smart, too. He's smart. He play chess with a lot of motherfuckers. Like, here, here, have a battle rapper thinking that you need him. <laughs> yeah, you thinking you need him to battle him more than he needs you in the battle. You know so, I'm the realest nigga moving, cruising in that Chevy, burgundy two-seater with the nickel plated Desi, tucked inside the armrest, static I swarm set, ready to make them bullets whistle like a vortex, truce in that passenger, shotgun aiming, nigga thinking he cold to them shots, get the flaming, earthquake effect, that whole block get the shaking, switch the whip just in case the cops get the places in his back to the hood, south for injection, all for the park, Way into the South Ward section on that Avon block, bitch. I'm South Ward reppin'. I put on, nigga. Got the whole South Ward flexin'. I'm a South Ward weapon. I be in these streets for real. Get respect from the youngest who let them heaters spill. They call me for that static. I'm like a FEMA drill. Got a lot of strikes in Jersey. Get that G to fill. I'm paper chasing, flooding the city with weed and pills. Old Rockefeller fanatic. I'm trying to see a mill. All right, so your big cannon battle recently drop mm -hmm. so you know it's been a while since that battle actually took place on the Chicago card you know looking looking back at that are you pleased with the way it turned out on camera versus when you was in the building out, yeah. outside of the audio it was dope to me I was very pleased with how the battle turned out because I felt like we both gained from it no matter who you thought won ultimately the fans won it was a classic battle and I put on I put on versus a nigga while he was home. You feel me? And this is this is a, a lot of shit that I like to do as far as to hush people up and say, oh, he only nice when he at home or some shit like that. All right, now you seen that bad. I was at home. I was away. And we both did our thing. His his rebuttal game, boy. Well, what, what made you think of the cookie thing in in the beginning of your round? Like, how how did that come about? Was that another spur of the moment thing or? I was watching. Um, I was watching next Friday. Next Friday. Mhm. Mm and um, Day Day did the look, baby day, just like you had a commissary without the wrapper. You could get through it quick. I said, "Oh, that's dope." <laughs> Who anybody ever did that in a battle? That would be fun. Fun to do in a battle. Your round was hot, but too typical, nigga. Now your condition gonna be critical, nigga. Cause this the part where I get lyrical, nigga. Before I start though, I got a gift for you, nigga. Look, baby, dead. Just like you had a commissary. You still got the rapper, but you want 
As far as performance wise, if you got if you battle with somebody and they getting off, and you do some shit like that, it kind of belittles everything that he said before that. So that was the main reason I did. I mean, I just try to be different, man. Like sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. That shit could have backfired. It just happened not to. Right. All right. So after that, you went to UW. You battled Calico X Factor. And T Rex. Uh -huh. So, three top tier dudes on Arsenal's lead, which was definitely a good look and a good look for his lead. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, I might as well ask you since you touched on it with the whole Norris thing, how you feel about people saying that those people aren't taking those battles seriously because they're on another league outside of URL? Like, what's your, what's your thoughts on that? Don't take don't take a shot if you ain't trying to make it. At the end of the day, I I personally feel honestly that Calico didn't put 100 percent into the battle. I don't think it's because he really didn't try. It's because he just flat out didn't have enough material. And he like Calico, my nigga. I know him personally, so I know like he's a he's a play fan outside of battle rap, and he liked the procrastinate and shit, which is what he did with our battle. Um, he, um, the material he did come up with, though, I do think was dope. You feel me? I think he did good. Uh, X Factor. <sighs> X Factor is a, a, a talented rapper, man. X Factor just complains a lot. Uh, if he can, if he has a safety net or a way to get out of a bad look for him, he'll use it. I mean, he felt like New York was just so biased against him when he battled surf. Then he felt like Clips was rapping hella long and he ain't rap. He only rapped for five minutes. And it was supposed to be a five minute battle. But he rapped for 15 minutes. My dad, Clips rapped for 22, he rapped for 15 minutes. So it was that. Then you had my battle, which is the, oh, I didn't try because I'm focusing on goods you feel me right this was after him saying and i face off oh i'm gonna treat you like eminem fierce fierce competitor but you know at the end of the day uh, uh he's going against you know a legend and myself so he better understand that i'm not playing no games I'm a legend in the game <laughs> uh, in uh, itself uh, you hear me legend. i'm a legend in a battle game itself check my resume now anyway, you better know what's coming to him because it because if he have for any second any 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 fragment of a doubt that I'ma come like like I'm battling Eminem or somebody then <coughs> then it's gonna be a long night for him and Eminem is the big homie. Oh but, right. But, but that's how I'm preparing like I'm battling M. <laughs> damn, I'm like damn. That's what that's how you would have rapped against Eminem because you think I did that to you. Ooh. What he would have did would have been. Oh, man, but I mean, he put a lot of pressure on himself with that because now that you're saying, okay, I didn't try, you have to prove to people that this is why you didn't try, which means you had, he had to have some amazing shit against Goods. Only thing I can say about you, Goods, is you ass, dog. Nigga, you so ass when you rap, it smell like ass, dog. I'm an ass dog. You think good's nice? Hell no. See, even dog think you ass, dog. And his shit for goods was worse than the shit he had for me. So it's like, damn, you didn't try here, and this what you came up with? So that's how that shit backfires sometimes. That shit backfired on him. Rex tried. Rex do what he do every battle. It's just sometimes shit lands, sometimes it don't. Rex rapped the same way he rapped every battle. Like his entire career is like one long ass verse. You could connect every verse, and he sounded the exact same way. You feel me? And, and I, ain't, I ain't, I ain't hating on that. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You feel me? He, he's a dope battle rapper, but he definitely did what he did. He, 
he did good. He felt like he won that battle, which is obvious. I mean, every dot mob nigga felt like they won every battle. But I mean, at the end of the day, what, I'm, what it boils down to is these niggas try. It's just, it's a safety net, basically. It's okay. If they lose, then they didn't try. Because if these motherfuckers won, then the following comments become, oh, I told y'all Red wasn't that nice. Oh, I told y'all somebody's gonna fuck him up when they took him serious. You feel me? Even if they put on the same performance, had I done worse than them in those battles, that's that was the comments that would have been coming up. You feel me? So, I mean, is people tend to run with a lot of bullshit <coughs> as far as battle rap. And it's it's kind of... It's kind of getting played out now, man. It's like, if you ain't going, if you ain't going play for real, don't step on the court. These niggas stepped on the court. They brought the best they could, and they lost. Same shit could have happened for me. You feel me? I've lost before. You feel me? So it's not like, oh, I'm a nigga who's never lost a battle. Well, I've lost before, and when I lost. I ain't hear none of that. Oh, he ain't tried this battle. I ain't hear none of that. Oh, this was a money move. He ain't give a, I ain't hear none of that shit. So did a lot of other rappers. So it's like, that shit is corny, man. It's corny. And it's watering down battle rap. If you cool with a nigga not trying, what does that say to you about you as a fan? As a fan of this shit. To me, I don't give a fuck where any basketball player is playing at. If he step on the court, I want to see him playing his best. Otherwise, why the fuck am I sitting there watching them? What's going on? What else going on with this untold truth, man? I got a, a <clears> lot talk, of let, honesty let, I'm trying to get off let's of. Let's talk that. about Young Ill, man. Okay. Now, do you feel like when you get a battle like Young Ill and he doesn't really show up as, you know, we would like him to or whatever's going on with him, do you feel like even though you may get the win in the fans' eyes, I feel like that, that battle takes... It takes away from you as well. So a lot of people look at it like, oh, young ill this, young ill that. But I feel like in a, in a way it's unfair to you because that was a good roll win or roll debatable, roll classic that you could have had that you actually didn't get a chance to have that. So like, does you, do you feel like that takes away from you? Uh, I think it takes away from the battle, not me. You feel me? At the end of the day, I did what I was supposed to do. Nigga, look! This thing is through. Would y'all do me a favor and boo me? Cause that's just the right thing to do. <laughs> but will y'all booing me? Just know. Praying on me. This round like, I wrote this shit like one or two days ago. <laughs> but look, King Juice, my bad, but you know y'all gotta pay me up. Yeah. I need a bond take. I need a bond 2700 That's why I'm taking this payment though. Prefer a win over a debatable. So he made this shit easier for me. I was on stage like, and I'm getting paid for this? I'm getting paid for this too? Shit. Cool. But the battle itself, in all honesty, I feel like it helped him. Because, <clears throat> to be honest, he was going to get killed anyway. Uh, it, it ain't matter what he said. Like, he never had a first round better than my first round. You still remember your third round for ill? Uh, a little bit of it. Can can we can we hear can we hear a little like, bit? I remember a little shit like uh uh hitman be real who fucking ill? Is it that faggot? Quotation a verb. Who battled Hoffa in a patent leather track jacket? I mean. What follows after that? I think uh, if this your man, you drawn for thinking illustrate, picture catcher. Surf was there, so I had to put it in subtitles or something. I said you drawn for thinking illustrate, picture catcher. Verb picture, ill catcher. Faggots. <laughs> in case y'all didn't notice where this shit was going with that, you feel me? But I mean. It's just a lot of shit for it. I really don't remember. It was more so of a performance round where I could have did everything I wanted to do. Peyton Manning, how I read the field. Fresh, I audible. It's the target when that mean the pill. 
juice status Showing Q, I turn bishop, make a Raheem scene Niggas die before they reach the steel In the booth, lights out with the curtains back Entourage full of that granddaddy, I'm burning that I flip the bird to that, 17 five for the I flip the bird to that I be serving that, that's how I double cream Cause I be in the hood, trapping like a double team Moving at a fast pace, kinda like a drag race Cops can't pressure that rock, I'm on a fast break Hood rules, never keep a nigga close to you Same niggas who stand with you or stand over you Shedding fake tears for the fake pain they going through Then put you in the hole, right after putting the hole in you Hardest battle to prepare for I have to fully think about these battles before I give you that answer. My hardest battle to prepare for. I'll probably say Young L. Because Young L, <coughs> which is a, was in such a questionable state that it was like I didn't know what to expect at all he had he, he in one year's time he had one of the best battles of all time which was him versus Rex he had one of the worst battles of all time which was him versus Cortez then he had one of the most mediocre battles of all time which was him versus JC and that was all in a year's time leading up to me battling him so it's like I didn't know what the hell he was going to do. He was home. You feel me? It was a lot of shit that's been said to it over time that I can't really say. We basically use material and shit. So I mean, he was definitely the toughest. And I had to battle Rex a week before, a week prior to battling Young L. Originally, I was supposed to battle Rex in January. So when he got pushed back. That shit basically cluttered how I was preparing for my battles. So, I mean, yeah, I, I think it was ill. Combination ill and Rex. Because Rex ain't even battled. When ill battled JC, Rex ain't even battled disaster. So, I couldn't even, I can't tell what the fuck I was going to walk into with Rex. What's some of the best bars you felt like you spit? You got like one or two bars you that's been your favorite over the past few years that you spit against somebody? Damn, that's hard too, man. Cause it's like if I think of one bar, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna think of some other shit. What's been up with your rebuttal game lately? What about it? You wasn't really no big rebuttal dude early in your career, and it seemed like now, like that, you've been that's been your shit lately too. It's fun. It's challenging. That's why I do it. I mean, um... These battle fans, they pay to hear bars. That's why I'm writing them. His last bars was mixtape verses that you recite to him. You come to North trying to get drugged like a Viking. Them tools blame my blue cans for that recycling. Shit works sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> it don't work. You know it's all about. Uh, it's all about having a clear conscience and being clear as far as during the battle. To not only think about the shit you have already, but to think, leave your uh, thoughts free to roam elsewhere. So, it's a challenge. It was definitely a challenge. You feel me? I'm, I'm trying to get into the rebuttal in the middle of the rounds. Shit like that. So, yeah. It's fun. Let's talk about some battles real quick. I just want to get your thoughts on them. Calico and Lux. What's your thoughts on that? Especially from Calico standpoint, because I, Cal I really honestly, wanted to know. I honestly think Calico was better when he battled me. When he battled you? Yep. Uh, because he had so much shit that he could have said to anyone on that stage that night. He had a, a 110 bars, but they just had no direction at all. So, I mean... Did Calico get off? Yeah. <coughs> but after a while, it becomes a certain level of comparison in a battle. If you're rapping here and this nigga's rapping here, 
that shit makes your rounds look worse. And not only that, the crowd no longer wants to hear you. They want to hear that nigga. So it's all about staying at the level of your, of your competition. And I felt Calico couldn't do that. He had a chance to when, when Lux fucked up in the first round. But it's like every time he rap, once his round in, it's like, all right, cool. Now we get to hear Lux again. I mean, it was just two totally different levels of competition that night, man. Lux, Lux lyrically is just, he's hard to beat. And the shit is it's so fucking crazy because this is a thing I really want to say, being honest. It seems so fucking biased that people give some the love and shit that they give him for what he does because... You got motherfuckers like QP, motherfuckers like Remy, or Remedy, whatever his name is, who do the same exact shit Lux is doing. And they ass to a lot of people. You feel me? I mean, I've had talks with people about battle rap, and they say, well, Lux the greatest. And I say, oh, yeah, you feel that way? What's his strength? And his, his only strength is wordplay. They say, like, that's it. Damn, a nigga that can do one thing is the best ever to you? What about QP? QP was doing this shit before Lux came back. Nobody fucked with him. He got body by Swave, who a lot of people feel has zero wordplay. So it's like, he, I think Lux had, he also had a great performance. You feel me? He had an entire... He had an entire uh, strategy to the battle, not just on the stage, but for the battle too, leading up to the battle, performing, even leaving the battle, all that shit. I think it was well thought out. That's why I fuck with Lux. But a lot of people, like I said, they give him a lot of love and can't even can't even back this shit up, like. Prime example, I, I'm pretty sure if Math would have said a lot of shit Lux said on that stage, he would have got booed. He would have got booed through the first round. You feel me? So, I mean, it's all about what people, who people would listen to. A lot of motherfuckers don't really listen to the the person that's rapping. They just listen to the name. Like, it's like a motherfucker would give Lux way more leeway and shit than they would give a Math Hoffa. Because like I said, if Math would have did the shit Lux did, he was getting booed off stage. They not rewinding that shit to try to understand what he say or none of that. He's just getting booed, and that's it. You know what I mean? That's what I think about that battle. It's just two totally different levels of competition, man. Uh, o Red's hit list, man. O Red's hit list. You can battle a lot of people. Who is who is on your? hit list to battle coming up not saying you calling them out but like what's some names that if they threw the, at you the number one will, will not get a no the number one possibility for me is whoever wins between k shine and big t that's the number one possibility the number one rapper who i think uh kick my ass because I'm a fan like I, I like the battle motherfuckers who I think I lose to the nigga with the best chance to beat me probably be magic be magic that nigga man alright last question oh red talking about he hungry this motherfucker said he, was, listen, over there. he said two more two more questions he got his two questions now, this, now he down to the ones I'm gonna put you on a spot on this question. <coughs> okay. No diss to nobody else, oh. but is O Red the best battler in Jersey? Out of Jersey. Oh. A lot of Zay, Arsenal, Sir, Shook. Who else? Speed Dollar. Who, who else I'm leaving out? Yo, we got a we got a combination of rappers who all just talented in their own way. It's like a jersey is like a fucking what's one of them cartoon shits that well, all the little pieces come together and form one. One of them no, shits. No political correct answer. But 
But I'm gonna be honest, man. Is Old Red the most versatile battle rapper in Jersey? No debate. Old Red's the most versatile. There you have it, man. Unbiased review. Old Red, Untold Yo, Truth. Let me say one more thing, man. Let me have right. Speaking of Jersey, man, I think I'm gonna have to put Surf in a box, man. Cause you be you be talking wreck, man. It's like now nah, I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm fucking with y'all, man. Let me leave that shit alone. Cause then people gonna start hitting me up like, oh, Red vs. Surf. No, it ain't no, it ain't enough. Shout money out to Surf, man. man. Y'all make sure y'all get that new uh, mood music. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Shit new dope. mood. I fuck with that. Religion down, that's my swagger, boy. Fully loaded black ratchet for that action, boy. I ride strap with a semi-automatic toy. Motherfuck slipping, I'd rather be maybe paranoid. I'm hella money, I get hella money. If being broke was a joke, I was never funny. Cause I got paid for two spin. 720 said I got paid for two spin. 720. My squad bring them desert eagles on your turf, B. Phil Mickelson couldn't get this many birdies. I pull up in something clean and do a nigga dirt. Southwater North, you heard me? Jersey. Boy, Chris, I'm by for you checking in. Just got through interviewing. Old Red, the Transformer. Jersey. Old Red tried to play me when Rich Dollars called, too. I don't appreciate that, but it is what it is, man. That nigga picked up the phone in the middle of my interview. For Rich Dollars. Shout out to Rich Dollars, man. Rich Dollars, I told the truth, maybe coming soon. But in the meantime, we got Old Red. Get this nigga on Summer Madness 3. Put it out there, smack. Y'all make sure y'all tweet that the URL. Untold Truth, Old Red coming up, man. I appreciate the support. We out.